hey cloudy people welcome on my channel today i am going to show you the value of using oracle cloud free tier and they are giving a powerful virtual machine under always free tier offering i will take the step by step to show how you can spin up the virtual machine packed by arm based processor because there is a some catch i found and i would like to clarify that how anyone can utilize this to host their application just make sure that your application is supported by arm based architecture rest everything is simple here i am using glam stack lean stack and my wordpress website to test it from last couple of days and it is really running smooth so this is the link where you can read about uh, the full offering of oracle cloud free tier they are giving a 30 day trial with some credit to use uh, couple of services as well as if you want to see what is covered under the always free as of now this is june 2021 i have no idea like if it may change in near future down the line couple of years but uh, at this point of time it is it is really free and here you can see the two amd base uh, virtual machine having a one gig of memory each and four arm base ampere a1 core and 24 gb of ram make sure that you do your calculation properly to spin up the machine either you can spin up a single machine having a four core with 24 gig of ram and 200 gb hard disk or you can run the four different vm 50 gb each or again up to you if you cross these limits for sure you will get charged and the beauty i really found from the oracle cloud free tier services which i don't see anywhere else that they are giving the data out 10 terabytes per month which is itself a huge no one is providing such kind of free tier as well as the load balancer is free if you think that your application can run on arm based architecture I and mean, having a 6 gig of ram you can think about a hosting a web tier on a single or two machines and a mysql or some database which is supported on the arm architecture on the another virtual machine maybe utilize the two virtual machine for making it a master slave for mysql or maybe a single master and read replica as well as front ended by load balancer and your ssl can offload at load balancer so entire production level of application can be hosted utilizing this free tier services and as well as all the monitoring and other nitty gritty things are i believe they are giving a very generous free tier inside this so uh, i i totally uh, vouch for the oracle cloud infrastructure team that provide for providing such generous free tier so let me log in into my account and uh, you can create your account it will take couple of minutes you need to put your payment detail but uh, no worries you are not going to cross the limit still you can enjoy the always free tier and you will see this console the important part here is what i figure out from last couple of months by utilizing oci that free tier services are mostly applicable on your home region so this is my new account i have not subscribed for any other region intentionally i put the us east uh, ashburn region as my home region because most of other services are available and i have a plan to create couple of tutorials around the oci that is where but if you think your nearby region in my another account i have subscribed my home region as a mumbai one and uh, i am running this ampere backed arm based uh, under the free services so that i have tested so make sure you select the home region while sign up and uh, let me show you little bit about my account because before proceeding to creating a new instance i want to show that in this account a one instance is running from last uh, couple of days as well as one instance i spin up uh, less than 24 hour this is the one thing and uh, let's go to the billing side to show that really it is not costing me anything here this is getting loaded and you can see from every day as a cost perspective compute block storage everything is no cost and if i want to show it as a utilize uh, utilization wise let me apply and here we can see that 
as I show the one instance is running from more than a week so every day 24 hours it is getting run and as it is having a 6 GB of RAM that is where the memory uh, memory hours memory per hours because 6 into 24 is equal to 144 and yesterday I have spin up the another one and it has not completed its 24 hour cycle so it will get updated but uh, the idea here is to show there is no cost associated with this and it is covered under the always free tier so let's go and start our new virtual machine follow these steps carefully so i'm clicking on create a virtual machine you can follow it from the instance and uh, again multiple way create instance option or from the home page create a VM instance so click here give it a name I will show you there is some time uh, I, I see this UI play with you so so bear with me I am going to show you something like this so let's say this is my nginx server and uh, next is compartment so compartment think it like uh, a project or a resource group if you are coming from a different cloud provider resource group is very famous in azure world and if you are into the uh, gcp world take it as kind of a folder and a hierarchy so that where you can apply the permissions each and everything and uh, it is helpful to segregate the resources for the different team according to that the permissions can be applied as well as the billing part using cost tag strategy it, it, it will be helpful so now follow the placement I am okay with the default region according to your home region you may see only a single availability domain or the three or a two depend upon what will be your region and now it is popping up with this image shape which is like the operating system base image as well as this size so let me show you a trick here so let's say I want to start the windows machine under this free tier i am selecting this windows machine and i am selecting the image and as i want to go with the arm based processor i am clicking see this is grayed out i am not able to select it even i am trying to click it and but i am not able to select it so let me go and change the image to ubuntu this is a big catch i found people are not able to spin up the right arm base instance and at the end by default they will be able to get something different so let's say here i am selecting this 20.04 minimal operating system and selecting image again you will be able to see that this is grayed out so let me go back again and select the image you can test with the another images let's say you want to try with centos obviously oracle linux is supported with their arm based processor offering but windows as i showed and this minimal ubuntu one is not supported so i'm going to select this 2004 even let's try for the 1804 uh, ones and you will see again the difference here we are not able to again select so it is supported with a specific operating system so make sure you play with this console properly to know what are the different operating systems covered under this always free tier thing so here i am selecting the operating system version and latest image build and now i am going to select again arm based processor offering and here you can see i am able to select and it is giving me the option so i am okay with one core and six gb of ram again as i mentioned just read the instruction on the documentation carefully you can go with the combination like 212 318 or 424 but uh, make sure you will not uh, go beyond that otherwise you will see on a daily basis there will be some charge associated with your account so here i have selected this now let me show you while i was changing the thing this will take automatically some default name so let me again type this so maybe if oracle people are seeing this make uh, maybe uh, in near future if they will update their console part it will be much easy so now the image is selected the shape of virtual machine is selected i am going to this networking part as i showed you that i have uh, two virtual machine running in my account so that is why they are giving me this existing one but again let's go with create a new one it will be in this compartment i am okay with that and this is a cidr block 
I'm okay. You can play with any advanced option if you want. If you think that you are going to host uh, your production application and if it is required any dependency, so you can play with this. And then here it is giving me the option to create the save the private key, which I am doing saving the private key safely. And now it is asking me for the boot volume. So by default, it will take this much amount of a boot volume, but uh, we have a 200 GB of limit for uh, under the free tier so i am just again giving another 50 gb and uh, uh, i am using use in transit encryption for this and after that i will highly recommend that to use some kind of a tag so as this is a demo one i am just giving a demo owner i am giving my name because tag may helpful for doing the cost analysis later in the stage let's say if you have a multiple application running um, on these four instances so it will be helpful and let's say i'm giving region it is us i i i hope you got the idea about this tag part and after that i am just clicking on create so it will take two to three minutes to spin up and we will see our public ip by using which we will do the ssh into this instance i have not go advanced to set up any firewall settings or network security group which is an additional layer of firewall by default uh, you will see the port 22 will be open uh, from everywhere and we will be able to do ssh let this instance be spin up and i will be right back and it took around two and a half minute and here we are able to see the public ip for this instance i am going to copy it and by default username is ubuntu so i am opening my ssh client and i am going to paste my ip and this is the ssh command as i downloaded my key so just entering it and here we go with this instance here you can see i am inside this cpu it will show you what is it as it is the arm based architecture and if we want to see how much memory we have so we can see also so here it will show that it's six gig of memory is here so let me do bit update and uh, and install nginx So Nginx is installed. So let's try to see our web page and let's wait for a couple of second and it will not work. Let me show you. Let's do the troubleshooting live. So let's do the networking part first. Let's see because we have not put any specific security group here and let's see the default one. I'm clicking on my network and let me go to this security list it comes with its default security list and we will check that what ports are available so here you can see that 22 is open so i highly recommend if it is a production environment you can delete it from here and uh, you can make sure that you will set up the another network security group which is another level of firewall in the OCI world. You can utilize that, but uh, I am going to add here, let's say the port 80. So my source is this and my IP protocol is TCP and source port range and destination port range. Let's say I want to port 80 and I'm just adding the add ingress rule. So my ingress rule for port 80 is set up, but uh, let's see again, I'm just pasting and entering and my page is still not loading. So let me share the another small trick here by default at the base level operating system at the OS level firewall, things are not allowed. So we need to run few commands. I have already prepared this command. I will drop all these command in the link, which you can drop, uh, which you can utilize and run in your instance. And then you will be able to see. So I'm running these all three commands. I have restarted my Nginx. Let me go to my browser now, listen, and let me show you that voila, Nginx is up and running and it is the same instance tab and Nginx is working. 
so i believe this is a helpful and you got the idea that how you can utilize the power of oracle cloud free tier and uh, there are many more possibilities to explore and in the next video i am going to show that how this web server underneath this flexible load balancer because this is comes under the free tier so my idea is to show that our front end will be the load balancer ip not the instance ip and how how you can spin up and create this backend set of services subscribe to my channel and share this video in your circle and if you have any question feel free to drop it in the comment take care